Hello, I'm Jerry Fork, the beer review guy. Got a stout. It's 39 degrees out right now. It was like 34 this morning, something like that. It's cold, cold weather. This is the time that's kind of like the best, the best time for stouts and porters, those kind of beers. I don't know if this, it's, I don't know if it's just the, the feeling you know, these kind of beers is just kind of, you relate to cold weather. I don't know, it's just what I do anyways. But, uh, so this is a Boulevard, Boulevard Brewing Company out of Kansas City, Missouri. This is a chocolate dipped cherry imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels with natural flavors. This is a 2022 um, version here. 15% ABV, um, let's see, I think that's about it, okay, doesn't really say any more on it, chocolate dipped cherry, this was this was two forty nine for this bottle, um, a, little, a little a little pricey for a, for a bottle of beer. It was on the the uh, singles shelf, and um, you can't a lot of times find like a really really good stout for anything less than this around this price. So just thought I'd get it something to enjoy on a cold cold night. Oh my goodness. Wow, just out of the bottle, that smells good. I let it set out for about close to an hour just to get to um, room temperature because that's when these taste the better, the best. You can you just get more flavor characteristics out of it when if, if it's not like really, really cold. So if the, you know, if the stout's not cold, it's more room temperature, which a lot of people, that's how they do it. Wow, that, that is dark. That is really dark. <clears throat> it looks like a glass full of motor oil. <clears throat> got a finger of head. The head is even, it's got a tint of red, just a little bit of a tint, tint of a redness in there. It's kind of hard to see on the camera. But otherwise it has kind of a mocha look to it. Wow, that aroma is fantastic. Cherry. Chocolate. You get a bourbon aroma. And just a, a rich aroma. My goodness, that's not good. Okay, this over here. Cheers. Wow. Man, is that good. Oh my goodness. You get a little bit of a tart cherry up front with the finish going into a chocolate and a little bourbon just kind of on the aftertaste. And then you get a little bit of a on the aftertaste, even still, you get um, a, a light kind of a, a coffee um, bitterness, just a little bit. Wow, that is awesome. It's, it's a rich taste. Man, is that good. Wow.
full body. Sweet, sweet characteristic to, you know, the cherry, the chocolate, um, just the bourbon. <clears throat> you do get an oaky, kind of a woody, kind of a mouthfeel to it. Um, wow, that's good. I have to, I have to say, that was worth two dollars and forty nine cent. It's not something I do all the time. Just every once in a great while, I like to get a, a nice, decent quality beer like this and this just sounded really good so i had to get it brewer's choice man and this one here is definitely when you can age um with that big abv on there um and it being a being a stout definitely set one of these back for a couple of years I don't think it would hurt it one bit. Wow. Pour one of these. Sit in front of your fireplace. If you got a fireplace. If not, sit in front of your, your gas wall heater. And... <laughs> <laughs> and just relax with this um phew, man that's really good i don't want to drink this too fast for fear it'll be gone before i know it and then i won't be able to enjoy it anymore one more drink Whew, wow that's good man smooth get you one of these things if you see this <clears throat> pick one of these up aged in bur bourbon barrels you can definitely you definitely get that really good okay well i'm gonna end it there i thank you all for watching i appreciate it And we will see you all on the next one.